One group that's happy the cattle industry convention and NCBA trade show is here in San Antonio is the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Russell Nemitz gives us a closer look at TSCRA's special rangers and how they work to protect the interest of members of the cattle industry. It may look like a simple blue sign posted on a ranch gate, but it's actually a warning to would-be thieves. Don't mess with this operation. That's because members of the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association can call on special rangers to help protect their land and livestock. I'm commissioned by the Texas Department of Public Safety as a ranger, but I work for the Texas Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association, and that history spans a long time from the time that uh, the association employed rangers for that association. We've been around for, what is it now, 137 years. That's a long time. That, that is a legacy, it definitely is, of taking care of our producers, the members of the association. Special Ranger Max Hartman is based in Fredericksburg, Texas. Besides covering the eight counties in his own district, he supervises rangers in an area that covers 54 counties in West Texas stretching all the way to El Paso. He says each ranger has been trained in law enforcement and has in-depth knowledge of the cattle business, making them a true asset to fighting crime. We have apprehended individuals in cattle thefts that have made the statement that we will stay away from a piece of property where we see that blue and white sign. Because that guy's a member and we know that there are special rangers involved in apprehension and we stay away from there. We have a tendency to stay away from a piece of property that has that sign. Each year, the 30 peace officers who serve as TSCRA Special Rangers investigate around 1,000 agricultural crime cases, and they recover an average of $5 million in stolen cattle and assets for ranchers. This effort is not funded with a single cent of taxpayer money. Instead, TSCRA membership dues provide the funds for ranger salaries, equipment, and training. Despite this arrangement, special rangers work for the benefit of the whole cattle industry. A lot of people think that the Texas Rangers work just for the Cattle Rangers Association. In other words, if you don't have a blue sign outside your gate, that you're not going to get us to help you. But that's an untruth. We work closely with all of our sheriff's departments throughout the state, and Texas and Oklahoma and we receive a lot of calls from our sheriff's departments on stolen livestock, stolen equipment, and it's not necessarily just cattle, it's sheep and goats, because a lot of our members run sheep and goats. So we work for members and non-members alike, but most of those people that are non-members, after we do a job for them, they join the association. These days, the theft of cattle and ranch equipment is on the rise in Texas and Oklahoma, and special rangers are in the forefront of the fight. Special Ranger Max Hartman says rustling is not just a crime of opportunity done at night by someone who isn't organized. He says thieves will study a rancher's routines and often load out cattle in broad daylight. We have a lot of areas uh, there where they just call them into a pen with a sack of feed. And so consequently, when a set of pens is close to the road, it's, uh, it's inviting for a thief. Uh, especially if he sees the habits of a landowner when he's coming to check his cattle. He knows when he's there, he knows when he's not there. And it's easy to call him into a pen and you can load four or five calves or a couple of cows, anything in, in no time at all. You go out here and you start stealing a man's cows, that's his factory. You know, once you lose the factory, you can't make a living. In the cattle market, uh, now we all know, you know, yearling uh, calves running from 1300 to $1,700 per head. And mother cows, if they're young cows and they're bred cows, you know, you're talking $2,400 a head. You know, that's a lot of money to these landowners. Unfortunately, some of those stolen or missing animals are not branded. Many cattle thefts are solved and thieves apprehended through the use of TSCRA's brand inspection program and database. Our market inspectors slash brand inspectors are stationed at a specific auction. Uh, for instance, Fredericksburg, I have one man that works that sale barn, and he's there primarily to inspect all the cattle that come in, document earmarks and brands, colors, and everything that's involved in the identification of cattle. We have a brand database that uh, we have access to 
uh, all of our brands are coded, numerically coded, and with letters also. And if you can code out a brand, we can send that through our computers to Cattle Razor's headquarters and get a hit on that brand right away. But if I was going to pick one thing that's more important than anything is branding your cattle. You've got to brand your cattle in order to be able to expect us to retrieve those animals. Because it's, it's a license plate on an animal is what it, what it is. Over the years, TSCRA has gained worldwide respect through the vigilance of its special rangers who are committed to honoring and protecting the ranching way of life. You can't work with a better group of people than ranchers. You know, they, they appreciate what you're doing. That's probably one thing about our, our profession is that you're appreciated by the people. And, and they respect you and, and they call on you when they need you. And uh, that's probably going to be one of the hardest things for me whenever it's time to retire is to walk away from these people that I feel obligated to. Reporting from the Texas Hill Country, I'm Russell Nimitz for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.